Hello everyone. As we come to the end of Module 7, uh, if we look back to the beginning of our class, we've covered so many areas in nonprofit leadership. Uh, history, social and economic impacts, uh, mission, structure, uh, governance, uh, boards, volunteers, collaboration, and uh, fundraising. We can spend weeks on just one of those topics alone. Uh, much of this makes sense if a nonprofit organization knows where it is going and how it plans to get there. That was our focus this week, to know if things are working and plan for the future. Uh, evaluation is one of those words that has always uh, been misunderstood. For many in nonprofits, uh, it means testing and seeing if things are up to par. The idea indicates a simple mechanistic view of the organization, uh, whereby if something is wrong, just changing a part or program is the solution. For others, evaluation in nonprofit is akin to the tax audit, where a microscope is put to everything and any little thing wrong needs to be addressed. There is some truth to both of these uh, views, but ultimately, evaluation should be seen in light of the mission of the organization. Uh, we've learned just how important mission and vision is to nonprofits and evaluation uh, when taken in the context of seeing where you are in relation to that makes complete sense. One of the concepts that we looked at this week is the concept of a theory of change. A uh, theory of change is simply a way to illustrate why change or some effect is going to happen. Used in nonprofits, Theories of change can be thought of as the philosophy for why what you are doing works. Simply put, a theory of change is about explaining the things you are doing to bring about the transformation that you seek. In other words, why is what you do successful? Uh, related to this is the idea of a logic model. Now, a logic model is a way to view your activities or programs at the nonprofit and can be thought of as the machine. That is, what are the assumptions and context and what inputs or activities happen? Who is doing the action and what are the activities? Uh, what is the result of the activities or programs? And ultimately, uh, what is the impact to the community, to the economic climate, uh, to the environment or even to the greater society. These two ideas form the framework for evaluation and knowing the nuances of how to institute an evaluation for nonprofits is something every leader needs to know. The module has a link to what I think is one of the best resources on this uh, from the Kellogg Foundation. So be sure to take another look at those materials. I recommend that you download those items and keep them as a resource. Next week, we're looking at the fiscal management of nonprofits and exploring the specific fiscal and even legal issues involved. Uh, Form 990 is one of the most important financial elements of a nonprofit organization and is simply an IRS form that provides the public with general financial information. So we'll learn about that. We'll also identify key financial and legal reporting responsibilities and explore concepts around the financial health of a nonprofit. We'll do all this by looking at some real life examples. Uh, the end of the week, we'll see you turning in your second paper, the Nonprofit Leader Interview. I hope you've enjoyed doing this assignment and furthermore learned what nonprofit work is like from the perspective of a leader within an organization. Perhaps it has inspired you, which is great. Perhaps it has given you more questions about the sector, which you will want to find out. Uh, regardless, I hope it helps see that leadership in nonprofits is important. All that to say, I look forward to reading them. So that's all for now, and as always, don't hesitate to contact me with any questions or concerns. I hope you have a good weekend and I will see you online.